something he changed, something he did has got him on the road that he is on. And now he's going to be in other TV events this year because of his performance. Game on. Well, whatever happens in this final, Daryl Gurney is now inside the top 32 in the world. Sneaking in there with the 10 grand prize money just for making the final. Kevin Painter drops out. 36. How's your luck? But were he to go on and win this, beat Michael Van Gerwen here, he will go up to number 27 60. in the world. This is a huge step forward for Daryl Gurney as a professional dart player. Will he rise to the occasion here in his first PDC final? 59. Or will he freeze? Well, I, I can't see that he's going to freeze. He's beaten Peter Wright, then he beats A.D. Lewis. I mean, two Premier League players, two top of the world 96. players. I mean, there's no reason why he should. I know we're talking now Michael and we are talking the final uh, and whether he will start thinking about winning the trophy, trophy instead of just getting to the final or getting to a semi. There is a big difference in your mindset. I appreciate that. However, if he carries on the way he's done the last two games, then uh, there really is no reason why he can't win this. Yeah, well, make no mistake. Michael Van Gerwen is the end-of-game boss in darts right now. The toughest test there is. But he's got six darts from 1-5-2 to hold his throw in the opening leg. He might only need three. Might only need three. He yeah, does only so need three. That's what MVG does to you. Second leg down to Roper. Normally when Darrell gets the first dart perfect, the 180s will follow. However, that's just a 140, but he'll take that start of a leg. 96. Yeah, Gurney hit more 180s than 140s against Adrian Lewis in the quarterfinals. Nine maximums. And there is the first oh, one for him in the final. One back at him. Not quite. Yeah, I believe nine's a record. Raymond Van Barneveld and Stephen Bunting have both hit eight in a single game on the European Tour. 65. Oh, sensible use of the 25 with that last dart. Well, that, that means that um, one treble gives him a dart at the double instead of the bullseye. Which it is good use. And with Michael. 136. Throw your equal 116. Needs to hit that treble low and does so. So it's double 18. And a 12 Jones dart to hold his throw. Very, 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 very good Michael stuff from the Northern Irishman. Yes, and that will settle him down as well. 100. It would be his biggest payday in darts if he were to go on and claim the title here, Daryl Gurney. £25,000 to the winner. He picked up 17 grand at the Players' Championship final. 15 grand at the World. He actually gave Gary Anderson a game, even though the scoreline didn't really reflect it. only got one set but he really did push Gary Anderson who went on to win the title of course make no mistake Daryl Gurney 60 we are watching him blossom as a dark player if this progress continues we have a serious player on our hands well there's no reason why it shouldn't Whoa! if Van Gerwen fires in a maximum there's no reason why it shouldn't because the confidence that he'll get from this win or lose this final you know, you've got to take that forward. One is back to back. Oh, no, Van Gerwen gets six darts from 162. 134. Mm. 60. Well, he does get to a finish, but. And go in, pin number 14 to go Martin back Mango. into the lead. Paul Van Garrel to throw first. Yeah. Daryl Gurney watched Van Gerwen take out 152 to win the opening leg. Didn't phase him, fired in a 12 dart at the next leg to hold his own throw. Might need to find another one here because MVG starts oh, off with a 180. Race number 200. 
for the Dutch Darts Masters. Oh, it's unlucky. 71. He's well to find the trouble with his last dart. And Michael Van Gerwen has the chance to steal a march, and that's a perfect looking dart. And that follows it. And Whoa! again, it's back to back for Michael Van Gerwen and six perfect darts to start this fourth leg. Could it, we see it? Well, I think they'll be hanging off the rafters if this 1 4 1 goes in from one Van Gerwen. For the elusive nine darter. First one's in. Oh, and that weren't a badly thrown dart. Just on the north side of the treble 19. But importantly, it's against the throw, and he only wants 52. 60. Michael, 52. Michael Van Gerwen going full throttle here at Darrell Gurney and 11 dart for Michael the first Michael. break of throw. Fifth leg, Michael to throw first. Game on. Darrell Gurney has beaten Michael Van Gerwen. They've met three times. He won one. They've tended to meet about, around about once a year. Michael Van Gerwen beat him in 2013. Oh. Pretty much a calendar year later at the UK Open qualifier. Darrell Gurney nicked it in a deciding leg, won it 6-5. And then... 100. Almost a year later at the Players' Championship Finals, Van Gerwen gave him an absolute hiding. And that 113 average is what Michael Whoa! Van Gerwen can do to you. He points at that stage. This is his house. It's his manor. You don't come into his yard and start trying to beat him at darts. But Darrell Gurney is giving it a go. Nice. Oh, easy. Oh, easy this game of that. Nice. Three maximums on the trot. Two from Van Gerwen and one from Gurney. 140. Might be by 84. 84 for another 11 dart leg. Double 12. Just a 12 dart leg, he's slipping. Oh, what an incredible start to this fight. Siflek Darrell to throw first. Game on. And at the moment, Darrell Gurney has not done a lot wrong, and he finds himself 4-1 down. Michael Van Gerwen took out the 1-5-2 for a 15 darter in the first leg. Gurney hit back with a 12 darter, but then Van Gerwen is just hit full throttle. 13 darts, 11 darts, 12 darts. He's hit five 180s in the last three legs. The world number one has just been doing whatever is necessary all the way through this tournament. John Henderson he saw off 6-3. Justin Pipe he saw off 6-3. It was 6-3 against Dave Chisnell. His average rose all the way through those three games. Mervyn King, he won it 6-2 in the end. But right now he's averaging 117. 140. And Daryl Gurney, despite seeing off Peter Wright and Adrian Lewis, established top world-class players. Oh. This is just another One level hundred. right now that he's having to contend with. Well, oh, that first dart is fine in the treble 20. So 140. Oh, this is incredible darts from Van Gogh. And if he takes that 138 out, then I think the record is, what is it, 118 point something? 94. 26. On your board, 138. Paul Taylor against Kevin Painter. Oh, he's got chances. Oh, no. 98. There are your report 124. Well, certainly we saw Michael Van Gogh average 117 against Gary Anderson in the final in Hildesheim at the start of last year. On the European tour. 56. Michael Van 13 Uribe data Uribe. here for MVG potentially to go within one leg of a third successive Dutch Darts Masters title. And it's there, and Darryl Gurney is facing an all-out assault from his Dutch opponent here in his stamping ground of Holland. Yes, yeah, an incredible display of darts from Michael Van Gerwen. 83. 16 average. Darrell hasn't done a great deal wrong. But what can you do against a man who is throwing these kind of darts? Well, I've said it quite often, there, there's are, there are ways. The baseball bat comes to mind. 
However, you can't do that in the game nowadays. You need 12 darters. That's what you need. He's managed you to do. find one. Yeah. And that's the leg that he won. Sometimes even 12 darters aren't good enough. If, if Van Gogh's got the throw, he's quite capable of throwing oh, 11 12 darters so. there himself. But you need to just stop his momentum. He's, he's just running away with it. 60. Just 60. Maybe this is an opportunity for Daryl Gurney. We did see Van Gogh just take his foot off the gas in a couple of his earlier games against Justin Pipe and John Henderson. That's a good return though. However, he's going to need six starts from one, six, six. He's got a chance, he may get that six starts, but it would be a break of throw. Great setup shot, this. Absolute perfection from Daryl Gurney to set that up. Surely Michael Van Gogh is going to allow him back to the ball. Well, he is. He is. And Daryl Gurney now just preparing himself. 96. This has to go. Well, it is his favourite double. And he's done pretty well on it over the weekend. And he's hit the double eight. 14 dart Darryl leg for Daryl Gurney. And that's a breaker throw. A flag Daryl to throw first. Game on. If he can just win this leg with the throw, then all of a sudden he'll start to believe a big belief. And he's back in this game. 46. Michael Van Gerwen won the first four European Tour titles last year. And he did so. 140. Playing just 177 legs. Typically, games on average finished 6 3 or 6 2. £100,000 in prize money. Looks at as about. 40 quid per dart thrown for Michael Van Gerwen that he was earning. 60. Are we going to see him claim the Dutch Darts Masters for a third consecutive year to just herald another mind bending 58. run of form from him where he just sweeps everybody aside? He has the advantage in this leg as he looks to close it out. 81. One treble. Gets him down to 220. And if he can find a sixth maximum, that would leave him tops for the match. Darrell Gurney has got to hit something big here. 140. Well, that helps, but Van Gerwen has got the advantage. Like you say, down at 180 would be incredible setting up. And that's exactly what he's done. Just when Darrell Gurney thought he may get back into this leg and in the game. Van Gerwen throttles it with a maximum of the double top for the tournament. He hits yeah, what yeah. he wants Shots. and top Max is what he wants for the title. That starts and Michael Van Gerwen averages 112. A 6 2 victory. And he is once again the Dutch Darts Masters champion for a third consecutive year. This is his yard. He owns that save and he owns the title for yet another year. We are living in the MVG era and he has put in a dominant display to see off Gurney who has had a valiant, brilliant set of performances over the course of this weekend.